Hey y'all, it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, doing something a little different today. If you follow me on Facebook, um, well, it wasn't Facebook, it was Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Um, you see my post the other day about the acorn squash. So today I'm going to be showing you how I fix that. Super easy. Um, some a good weeknight snack uh, or you know side dish, either one, uh, healthy snack. So this is an acorn squash. Now a lot of you may have seen them or see them in the grocery store. They're usually green. So these actually came out of our garden this fall. Um, they are a winter squash and they store very, very well um, because they have this hard outer shell like a pumpkin. And so uh, they've been down in my basement, which is like a root cellar because it's a dirt basement. Um, they've been down there since the fall and they, I think I lost one, uh, but they have kept exceptionally well. So I do uh, encourage you to add that to your garden. Uh, if you try it and you like it, to definitely add these to your garden this upcoming spring. All right, so what we need to do first, we're going to lay it down. We're going to cut it in half this way. Now, just be prepared because that shell is, it's going to be tough. Now, a fresh one is not as tough as one that's been sitting. But just think pumpkin. Like, that's what it reminds me of is like cutting through a pumpkin. And so what we're going to find on the inside is it's going to have seeds that look like pumpkin seeds. And those will go to my chickens. Trying to be easy with this knife, guys, so don't cut my hand off. There we go. All right. See the seeds there? So what we're going to do is we're going to clean those seeds out. I got a little bowl here. Try not to let much go to waste around here. The animals appreciate these little treats they get. So, gonna get that clean, like I said, just like you would a pumpkin. You know, scraping the edges a little bit. All right, there we go, good and clean. So we're gonna do the other one. I'm actually gonna cut this stem out of this one. I mean, I guess you could leave it, but it don't look pretty. <laughs> so that can go to the chickens too. They're not picky. All right, we're gonna clean the seeds out. I'd be going ahead, going on ahead if you are planting a garden this year, and definitely getting getting your plan together for the seeds and things that you want. Um, just in case it is like it was last year, you know, the hard time finding seeds. But here on the farm, you know, we'll have vegetable plants for sale coming up probably in the next couple months. All right, now that's my chicken bowl. It'll go to them. Next thing we want to do, I'm going to put them on this. I like to put tin foil on my pans. Just makes cleanup a hundred times easier. You don't have to do that. All right, so I got about a tablespoon of melted butter. I'm going to paint this with melted butter until it's all, until I've used it all. And you may have like a little pool down in your squash, but that's fine. Who don't like butter? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to get all this painted here and now um, I've got my oven set on 350 degrees and you're gonna have to give yourself a little time for these to cook because they are so hard uh, about about an hour so just make sure you at least have that long because once you get the hang of this it doesn't take long to get them prepared so yeah just give yourself about an hour the texture of these is a little different than like regular squash, but it, I think in a good way. Even my husband, Andy, he even eats these and he is very, very picky, especially when it comes to vegetables and he enjoys these. All right, so I got all my butter on there. Now we're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon. Um, 
just you do this at your discretion. We love cinnamon, so I give them a good sprinkle. You can put as little as or as much as you want. All right, same thing with the brown sugar. We're just going to give it a green, a good uh, sprinkle here. And you can use as little or as much as you want. I'm actually going to mash some of that down on the sides. All right, there we go. And I'm going to give it one little sprinkle of salt. There we go. All right, y'all. That's how you prepare it. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for right at uh, 50 minutes. Um, we're going to cook it covered for 50 minutes. And something that helps them soften up better because they are so hard, um, put you about a fourth a cup of water just in the bottom of your pan that you're cooking them in. So it'll give it almost like a steaming effect. safe pot with a lid if you wanted to. I just choose to do it this way. Alright, so we're going to put those in there for 50 minutes. Then we're going to uncover them and cook them for the last 10. give my chickens their little treat. Squash is done. So again, I cooked it for 50 minutes covered with the tin foil and then uh, 10 minutes uncovered. So it's completely done. You want to make sure it's fork tender. And that is absolutely, like I'm not putting any effort into it. That is absolutely fork tender. So that is the simplest and easiest way I know how to tell you to cook an acorn squash. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. And I recommend you give it a try. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put the links in the description. And also check out Wedding Inspirations Magazine. Um, I'm also featured in there. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and give it a subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And I'll talk to y'all next time.